We are going to look to integrate this using partial fractions, but we have a numerator which has a power which is more than the power here. Okay, so when you, whenever you have a power on the numerator that is the same or more than the denominator, you need to break it down. Okay, so we will break it down using our long division, so x cubed plus 2. Now we want to go down in order, so the 2 would really be here, and we'll have x, 0x squared plus 0x, and then our plus 2. All right, and let's just divide that. And here we'll have our x plus one, and this follows, so we have an x and then a number here. Right, so how many times does that go into here? We have x squared. So when we multiply out, we have x cubed here, and then uh, we have plus x squared. Take them away, we get zero, yeah, that's gone. And here we have x squared, zero x squared, minus that, so it's just minus x squared. We pull this down, okay, we borrow this down, like that, and we'll do the same process again. So x, how many times does it go in here? At least minus x. Multiply that out, you get minus x squared, minus x, take them away, that cancels, and you've got zero, minus minus is a plus, so it's a plus x. Once again, you're gonna borrow that two down here. X, how many times does it go in here? Just plus one, and then you multiply this out, you get X plus one, okay? Now it doesn't cancel here completely, there's no zero, okay? But you get two minus one, which is one. So you have a remainder of one, that's your quotient. So this can be rewritten as X squared minus X plus one, and that's a plus one from there, and then you've got a remainder of plus one, so plus one over x plus one dx. And that is what you are going to be integrating. Right, so the integration of this now, let's quickly do that. What do we get here? Integration of this, please. We get x cubed divided by three. Here we get minus x squared divided by two. Here we get just plus x. And here we have ln, so ln x plus one plus c, and that is the integration of that. All right, now this next one is an interesting one. Okay, so we know that we have a top heavy because it's the same power. So therefore we need to break this down using long division. So let's quickly do that. So we have nine x squared minus three x plus two. And we are gonna divide that by nine x squared minus four. Now we're gonna do nine x squared plus zero x to fill in that gap and then minus four. So, 9x squared into 9x squared, how many times? Just once, right? Multiply out, we get 1 times all of that, so therefore 9x squared plus 0x uh, minus 4. Take them away, we get cancel here, we get minus 3 minus nothing, so it's just minus 3x. Uh, 2 minus minus 4 is plus 6, so therefore we end up with that, all right? Now, we won't go any further because this power is bigger now. So therefore, what do we have? We have one minus three x plus six. So the minus three x plus six all over nine x squared minus four. All right, now we are gonna do two things here. So before we start to integrate this, so we'll just write the one here. Remember this minus belongs to the, uh, the three x. Now before we're gonna start integrating this, we need to deal with this right here, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have our difference of two squares. Second thing that we're gonna do, because this might confuse some of you, we're gonna just swap them around, okay? Just swap the order of those around. So it's gonna look like this, plus six minus three x, so that's, I've just dealt with that, just swapping them around. And then on the denominator, I'm gonna have three x, minus two in one bracket and three x plus two in the other bracket. And that's what we have. Now, we've got this and we need to use partial fractions to deal with that as well. So let's go over here and deal with that using partial fractions. Just ignore the one for now. So we have six minus three x and then we have three x minus two and plus two and we're gonna have a over 3x minus two 
plus b over 3x plus 2. So then we are going to have 6 minus 3x is equal to a times 3x plus 2 plus b 3x minus 2. Yeah, we're going to substitute our values of x to eliminate each one each time. Okay, so if you could help me with that, please. So when, let's start with uh, getting rid of the x here. Okay, so when x equals what? We, 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 we want to make a zero here. So when x equals minus 2 over 3, can you tell me what I get here, please? I get 8 here. So when x equals minus 2 over 3, what do I get on this side? 8. And then a is 0, right? So a is 0. And then what do I get for here, please? Minus 4. So b minus 4. So therefore, b would be equal to 8 divided by minus 4. So 8 divided by minus 4 is minus 2. Is that good? And we do the same. We want to now get rid of the b. So we want to get this whole bracket into a 0. So what does x need to be? x needs to be a positive 2 over 3. OK. So when it's a positive 2 over 3, then what's this? 4. Thank you. And a is, obviously we know b is 0. Yeah? Or, or, or the coefficient of b is 0. And what's a, please? When uh, we have 2 over 3 in here? We have 4. So therefore, 4a. So therefore, a would be equal to 1. 4 divided by 4. a is equal to 1. All right? So now we can go back and replace this. So look carefully. We're going to replace the a with a 1. The b is a minus 2. So this would become a minus as well here. Yeah? So there we have it. OK? So this is what we are going to integrate when we put it back in here. So let's do that. So we have 1 plus, we're going to look at that now. So 1 over 3x minus 2 minus 2 over 3x plus 2 dx. And this is now going to be integrated. All right, so we have to do all of that to get to this, and then we begin our integration step. All right, I'm going to rewrite this up here, or here, and I'm going to clear the space so that we can integrate, okay? All right. So we have this, and we're just going to integrate this. So this is going to be quite straightforward. The integration of the 1 is going to be just x. These two, we're just going to quickly check what we get by using consideration and reverse chain rule. So let's do this one first. So ln 3x minus 2, so dy over dx. What do we get? We're going to differentiate this, so we get 3 over 3x minus 2. OK, so we don't want that 3 there, do we? We need to divide by 3. So therefore, this is going to be divided by 3. So we're going to get here plus a third ln 3x minus 2. Do the same thing for this one. So y, we're going to do our consideration here. So y is equal to ln uh, 3x plus 2. And dy over dx would be 3 over 3x plus 2. If you look at this and what we have, we want to get rid of that 3. And we want a 2 in that place. OK? So we're going to divide by 3 times by 2, which is the same as multiplying by 2 over 3. This one. OK? So it's going to be minus 2 over 3 ln 3x plus 2 plus c. And this is your final integrated answer. You can, of course, simplify this as well if you wanted to or if the question required you to do that. So if you want to go ahead and do that step, go ahead. So this uh, covers integration using partial fractions when you have a top-heavy fraction. See you in the next lesson, guys.